Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the hard drives on this QNAP NAS. That's the TS269 Pro which we had unboxed last week and we're going to install the hard drives. You actually need two hard drives for the same because this is a two bay NAS but I'm going to just show you with a single hard drive and the things that you need are is a screwdriver, uh, the screws to mount the hard drives uh, but you get that in this uh, QNAP accessories box and later on we'll also require this software does to do the uh, initial installation. So first I'll show you how to install the hard drives on this NAS. It's very easy. The first thing you do is just remove the bay. Do note that this is the bay one. You start with the bay one and now we're going to mount our hard drive here. And now we're going to install the hard drive. Also you can look at the what do you say user guide that we get. In that it uh, explains you all the uh, things that you need to do and we're going to install the hard drive again do note that you can use uh, even laptop hard drive that's a 2.5 inch but for this demonstration I'm going to use a standard 3.5 inch desktop hard drive and uh, as I said I'm going to just use one hard drive as of now but uh, ideally you need to use two drives so that you can get the advantage of RAID features and I'm using a Seagate hard drive and to check the compatibility of the hard drive, check the QNAP website and you just place the hard drive like this and at the bottom, as you can see, you just need to, what do you say, uh, mount these screws here and just place it back. I'm just going to do that and come back quickly. Now I've added all the four screws for this 3.5 inch drive, one, two, three, four. And as I stated earlier also, we can use a portable uh, hard drive also. That's a 2.5 inch hard drive like SSD or uh, smaller hard drives that are used in laptop for that you just need to put in three screws that is one two and three and now as you notice you start always with the hard drive one and we can now just quickly just put it back and to do the same let me just adjust the camera you just take this drive like this and just gently slide it in you do it like this it goes in and you just press back this and this should click back and the hard drive installation is now done as you might be also having the second hard drive do the same procedure and now we go towards the back of the NAS and now that we have installed the hard drives you take the power adapter and connect it to the NAS and also take the Ethernet uh, wire preferably connected to a gigabit router and connect it to the back of the NAS and now power on your NAS and then I'll show you how to do the software installation. You need to insert this disk and complete the initial installation. And I'm going to show you how to do the same now. Now this is the software installation and I'm using a Mac. It will be very similar if you use a Windows computer. Uh, this is the, uh, what do you say, the software disk. And I'm just going to go to the Mac because this is a Mac. And I'm going to use the Mac Finder. And we're just going to install this now. And this software should ideally detect our QNAP NAS. And I'm just going to save it to our applications. It's done. And I'm going to launch this application now. And I'm going to allow my firewall. And as you can see, it uh, quickly detected it. And it's now showing up uh, this quick setup wizard that our NAS is not yet configured and we just press yes and this opens up the installation wizard and here as you can see we can enter the NAS name the administration password the IP address etc so let's proceed with the same and uh, to make it easier I'll just uh, name it as the QNAP TS269 Pro. You can give whatever name you like. And here uh, we give our password. And I suggest that you don't use, uh, don't forget this password. And adjust our time. I'm in India, so I'm going to select the same. That's okay. And next. And uh, I would say that uh, by default, it will try to give us a DHCP uh, IP address, but uh, it is preferable to give a static IP. 
and I'm going to give it the static IP 192.168.1. One dot and uh, let's say 105 and my subnet max is 255 255 dot 0 and uh, my default gateway again is 192.168.1.1 if you don't know this uh, consult your networking as administrator to get these details but it is always preferable to have a static IP because it's much more easier to configure your NAS that way and here we can uh, uh, enable the services that we like i want apple networking if you have a linux server etc you can always do that also i need the file manager ftp service uh, let's uh, enable the download station also and uh, we let's enable the upnp multimedia server also and as you can see we can also enable the web server and mysql server uh, so again just check the services that you would like to enable on the nas again this will differ from the model to model And again, as uh, I said, I'm just using a single disk. That's a 500 GB disk. So uh, it's like that. And again, I just want to make uh, this thing very clear that the disk that you have installed in the NAS will get formatted. So don't use uh, a hard drive that already has data. It will be formatted. And I'm just going to hit next. And now I think so it's going to format the hard drive. And here it gives us a glance. Uh, so that we can double check all the settings and I'm just going to hit this start installation and again as I said it's going to format the hard drive and now it's doing all the things that are needed to set up the NAS and again this will take uh, a few minutes part that is initialize the hard disk can take a lot of time again if you have both the drives populated it will take quite a while so be patient here and it's almost done now it's done and it took about five minutes for me again uh, as i said it'll depend upon the hard drive size and the number of drives that you have and now if we click to the system administration page it should take us back to the ip address that we have assigned the administration page again you have to be patient i had to wait about 40 45 seconds for the page to load initially and I, now here we can do the administration and this is the web interface to control this qnap nas so this is how you do the initial installation let's look at the administration and uh, enter the password that you have and this should log in and again as you can see now you can create uh, users for your nas and you can also create groups and set up other services like ftp your cloud storage etc let's just create a user also and as you can see uh, it's a friendly wizard and let's say the username is ranjit and i'm going to enter a password and hit next Email is optional, quota, I've disabled it. Yeah, and as you can see, you can enable the quota and access uh, rights management later. So I'll do that. And I don't want to make that user administrator. So just a general user. And I don't want to give it a personal shared folder as of now. So I'm just going to hit next. And here you can assign uh, again uh, access level control. Let's say the download folder, I want to give them read and write access for, and again, let's say I want to give them access to multimedia and uh, we can do that so it's pretty easy let's say i don't want him to get uh, want him uh, usb access so i just deny that and and i just hit next and it's now created another user before finishing this video let me also show you some other settings sometimes the nas will not connect to the internet and the most common thing is that just go to system administration and in network uh, here if you scroll down down DNS servers might not be set properly. So just set it up I have set my primary DNS server to my router and the secondary DNS server to Google DNS and just hit apply Once that is done also it is advisable that you go to this firmware update option and here in the live update Just hit this check for update and as you can see it has found a new firmware update and it's advisable to do this update uh, that's it for now for this uh, quick installation of this QNAP NAS. 
I'll be making other videos about this NAS also. So do check out my channel for more info. I hope you found this uh, QNAP installation video helpful. If you found it helpful, I'll appreciate if you can click the like button below. That's it for now. This is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and I hope to see you in my next video.